So I was having difficulty connecting my S3 Classic watch to my S25 Ultra, and it seems like this is a relatively common problem on the newer phones with the older watches. With a little bit of research, I found a few helpful Reddit posts, and following through with them, I was able to get my phone connected, but at least in my case, there were some steps missing, and I couldn't find any YouTube videos, so I thought I would make one. Step one is downloading the older APKs for both the wearable app and the plugin. And once you have those, go into your phone, turn it into airplane mode, turn Bluetooth on, and then go to your automatic date and time, turn that off, and then go back in time to the year 2023, which seems to help the wearable app have a smoother process when connecting. Once you have that completed, then you'll need to go into your downloads, install the wearable app, and then install the plugin app. And then you can open the wearable app and run through the prompts as normal while trying to connect to your watch. What you'll notice in my case is it goes pretty smoothly, but then it kind of hangs up at the end. And I notice that it also turns on the Wi-Fi itself. I suppose it's looking for internet. I had turned the Wi-Fi back off and realizing that it wasn't moving forward, I turned the Wi-Fi on again. But since the date and time were now back in time, it wouldn't successfully connect to the internet. So I took the automatic date and time and put it back to automatic. And once I did that, the pairing was able to mostly finish. So clicking through you'll notice some of the permissions that it asks for. And this is the, the hang up that I couldn't find uh, any real answers to is the SMS. Even if it said that it was allowed, it still would not go through and it said that there was an issue with it. So if you go through the app permissions, um, again, you, you'll see that it's in the allowed category, but it's saying it's not allowed. Uh, this didn't make any sense and I couldn't really get any help with the prompts that were shown. But if you go away from the app permissions page and to the app info and click on the allow restricted settings, this is what you need to move forward. So now I can take it to the allow area. It moves correctly and I'm able to move through with the rest of the process. So already you can see that the app sees the watch. It still needs to finish its pairing process. So I click connect. It starts over again in the process that looks like everything is starting from fresh, but everything does succeed this time. You'll see that it's paired. I click again on what I'm willing to allow for sharing. I skip the backup because I don't want to risk that messing everything up. And you can see that now I am all set and my watch is working. You'll also notice the error on the, the pop-up screen for the wearable app, which is like you likely noticed when you first tried to get your phone to connect. And it says that some of the features may not function. So be aware of this. But hopefully this helps you. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. Thank you.